Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the Lath Playgoers YouTube channel. Now, obviously, we're not at the Riverhead Theatre right now, and that is because I am currently editing the video you're about to watch. The reason I'm here is because the intro and outros didn't really work. So, in this video, I invited the Hello Hello directors, Rob and Adam, as well as some of their cast members, Catherine, Keith, Ed, Megan and Joel to come and take part in a classic sitcom quiz. I also invited classic sitcom connoisseur John Hewer and Christopher Peters. So I'll, I'll see you at the end for, a, for an outro. On with the video. And 11, questions, 11 questions, 12 points up for grabs, one is a two point. Question one. Going Straight was a spin-off of which classic sitcom? Do you want the year? <laughs> the director? I'm joking. <laughs> and in three, two, one, reveal your answer. Oh. Porridge. Porridge. That's a point for each. Woo. Correct! Hey. Porridge! Porridge. porridge. It was on certain hours. It was porridge. I oh, said. I knew it was going to be <laughs> He gets released from prison. He goes straight. Ah. Ready? Three, three two, one. <laughs> <laughs> We've come for a very similar. Okay, uh, no, the correct answer was porridge. Oh! oh. <laughs> In which show would you find Tom, Barbara, Margot, and Jerry? Going straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in three, two, one. The Good Life. Correct. Show. The Good Life. <laughs> okay, pull out one of the uh, the old names that gets thrown around at family Christmas. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Give them praises on the pluses. It was the Good Life. Oh. Um. <laughs> Do I get extra points for doing like a little? Thing with a bird going round. <laughs> I've got a bird, wasn't I? I've got a bird. Oh, that's not a bird. It looks like a turtle. Then you don't get a bonus point for the turtle. And that is correct. It is the good line. Do you know what? If in doubt, just go and say the answer again. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Only fools and answers. No, it was the good life. Oh. What is the name yeah, of the right holiday right. camp in Heidi High? Yes. I know it's not going to be that, but hey ho. Got it. That's the one. <laughs> and in three, two, one. Maplins, that is correct. Okay, three, two, one. Heidi Ho and Graceful something up. Uh, no, it was Maplins. Oh. oh, okay. Get this. Maplin with the name of Mapletoft, surely. And Christoph and Camporene. Uh, no, it was Maplins, of oh. course. Maplins, that makes sense. So, so close. One. It oh, is Marlins. Macklin. Macklin's. You know, I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> I actually couldn't remember. What is the longest running sitcom on British television? Now, it's something that's... So, when you say the, mo the longest running... Longest running. Not most episodes. Not the most episodes run. or the most replayed. No. But the longest, longest running. Come on. Well, yeah. I have a feeling I don't want to this. John's correct! Oh, oh of course it's last the series. Oh. 11 yeah. series, is it? Oh, no, 31 series. Oh. 31 series. Oh, okay. Although I hope I. Um, some of my knows aren't watching that in case it's like 30 or 29. I'm pretty sure it's 30. Well, I, I know the number of years. <laughs> oh, 
Or maybe it's 30 years and then he... Okay, under the grave, Under the Simpsons. No, oh. it was Last of the Summer Wine. Uh. Uh. Are you being served? No, it was Last of the Summer Wine. Oh, of course. My uncle was in that. Oh, dear. Well, an episode, but anyway. I can't think of any current ones. No, sorry. No. Sorry. It's, a, it's, a, it's a pass. Okay, pass. and would you, yes. would you like to reveal your answer? Last of the Samoan is really? correct. Really? Give yourselves a point. Ah, oh, yeah. yes. So What's the longest point. running sitcom in the world? It could, it, it last could be Samoan. Yeah. It literally could be Last of the Samoan. I can't think of any other. It's the sitcom. Sick Simpsons stands a sitcom. It stands for situational comedy. It's what sitcoms are. Well, I mean, right, they're, they're on there's series like 13. Fuck and read. And this, by the way, is according to the Guinness Book of War. Ah. I always used to skip to the, like, the, the weird, the weird really bodies. Really gross. Where like, the, longest like, nails. <laughs> the guy that is able to, like, stretch his skin loads. <laughs> the only one I can think of. It wasn't right for the last one, so it wouldn't so, be right no, for this no, no, one. But, well, if you had gone down the same thought process yeah. of, yeah. let's just put the longest British one, yeah. it would have been correct, it's still last of the summer one. <laughs> um, it's still last of the summer one. Wow, that is impressive. That is really impressive. Well done. 37 years. I only know one. <laughs> you went with the Simpsons again. You should have copied a previous answer, but it was Last of the Summer Wine again. Oh. Ah! 37 years. Reveal. It is Last of the Summer Wine. <laughs> 37 years. No! Sir. Friends, Frasier. Well, I can tell you the Friends ran for 10 years. Yeah. Frasier ran, I don't know, I think, I think it was about, about five 11. years. Last of the Summer Wine ran for 37. <gasps> <laughs> no. It's last than someone one. Again! Which 90s sitcom was based on Simon Nye's 1989 book of the same name? These questions are getting very difficult. <laughs> so, oh, trick is, this one is hard. Think. It's either this or I've got it wrong. Well, I mean, that is the way the quiz works. <laughs> it is correct! Hey! Hey! Badly. <laughs> I haven't got the straw. In three, two, one. It is men behaving badly. It is men behaving badly. How else am I It is <laughs> men behaving badly. Uh, I've heard of that. It was men behaving badly. Oh, oh yes! I'd love that. It's meant to be even badly. Yes! I'm gonna help you out here. <laughs> They're British. They're all British shows. Oh. <laughs> I, I presume. <laughs> this is gonna sound awful. I presume Last Prince of Bel Air isn't British. Well, it's the Fresh yeah. Prince of Bel Air, not the last. Oh. <laughs> the last is a very depressing version. <laughs> The Dangerous Brothers are a comedy. <laughs> oh, wait, there is more help in the question. The Dangerous Brothers are a comedy. Oh, come on. Do I get extra points and I have help? No. Because he's not finished the question. <laughs> the Dangerous Brothers are a comedy duo who starred in The Young Ones in the 80s. Who were the two members? Oh, okay. It's either this or the other two. I can't think of the other's names. They're going now. I'm forgetting a lot these days. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I think three times you could be in hell too. <laughs> Tom and Jerry, no, it was Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson. Oh. <laughs> Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson. Throw it out. Great, here we go. It is Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson. Yes. You can have half a point. Half a you, point. You got half of it. I don't, so I'll go with. Check. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Rip Mail and Aiden. Ah. Oh. But I'll go with the famous ones. 
And you would be correct to Hooray! say Rick Mail and Ed Ed Edward Who has bought sausages in Lakey? Uh, what nationality was Granville's father in Open All Hours? Oh, well, I'm going to guess because I honestly don't know, but it's probably something like that. Can we say his father? His father. Like boo boo here. Okay. And I reveal in three, two, one. I it's think not German. His, that was his mother. No, he was Hungarian. His father yeah. was supposedly Hungarian. He was Hungarian. Oh. So much. I, was, I actually had at least two letters out of one of three letters out of it, so I think that's three points. French German, no, it was Hungarian. Oh. <laughs> you were in the ballpark. Yeah. It's Europe. Europe. <laughs> we should just put Europe. Just put European. European. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. Oh, I'm gonna guess. Okay. I feel like we should let our criticize it first. <laughs> Just so I want to see what it is. I have no idea. Okay. Spanish? No, he was in fact Hungarian. Hungarian. <laughs> 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 okay. The television BAFTAs had an award for best sitcom between the years of 1973 and 1980. Two shows won that award twice. Which shows were they? One point for each. 1973 to 1980. Oh, hang on! Ooh. These are quite popular, so they even thought of these. That's not 70s. I've made my decision, but I'm not sure either of them are right. Okay, uh, yeah, let's have a look. Butterflies and porridge. <laughs> I was enjoying this until this question. It's been quite smug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can confirm that one of those four answers is correct. Wow, what have you got? Oh, good ones. Yeah. It was porridge oh, and faulty towers. Oh, of course, of course. Faulty Towers! Okay, it, it, it was Porridge and Faulty Towers. Oh. Ah, I even said Faulty Towers. But hello, hello, it's so excellent. Okay. Oh, Porridge! Oh, tick. So, you can both have a point for Porridge. Oh, yes. The other one, which is not what m many people think, because there were only six episodes, Forty Towers. No. Forty Towers won it twice. Two more questions. What was the original name of Dad's Army before it was that. called Dad's Army? I have to know that. Simpsons. I've Simpsons. No idea. <laughs> I'll go with the obvious. Oh, yes. That's hard. That's so sorry. The old boys. I genuinely thought Adam had it. Um, no, I have no clue. Um, I just know it's a load of old men. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> the Home Guard is not correct. It was the Fighting Tigers. Oh, I can see why they changed the name. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Fighting Tigers. I put flying first. Don't fly. Don't fly. Don't fly. Okay, and the final question. Yeah. Which war was the sitcom Hello Hello set in? Hmm. Uh, do I have to write it out in full? World War Two. There you go. It is World War Two. You both get a point, which does make it a tie between yourselves. Oh, no. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. We have winners. World of the Wars 2 and World War 2. <laughs> Fortunately, Adam, I can't accept that it was just World War 2. Yeah. So Joel is the winner. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to be funny for you, and that's what I get. No points.
World War II is correct. Which is odd, because sequels are not normally as good as the first, but I reckon it gave it a good run for its money. <laughs> Now have a plug opportunity. Ah, a plug opportunity. Could that be why I'm here? Um, <laughs> yes. Well, uh, as I've probably already said, I am the director with Adam Barter for Hello Hello, which is on uh, Wednesday the 10th to Saturday the 13th of November. Please come and watch it. It's hilarious. Do I need to say more than that? If you've not bought your ticket for Hello Hello yet. I will send round a German officer who will shoot you until you ring 01507 600 350. Uh, just to clarify, um, no German officers will be sent to anyone's house. Just clarifying. And that's the video, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations to John, uh, commiserations to Ed and Megan, um, thanks of course to Rob, Adam, Catherine, Keith, Joel and Chris as well, um, but yeah, don't forget to book your tickets for Hello Hello, and until next time, see ya.